remedy for diffuse thyroid parenchymal disease. Okay. So, if you have diffuse thyroid parenchymal disease, so it can be uh, thyroiditis. Yeah. And so, if you have uh, thyroiditis, it means it's an inflammation of the thyroid gland. It can be autoimmune. It can be viral. It can be infectious in origin. So, the first thing to do is you have to drink ginger. Ginger, guyabano leaves. Yan. Maganda po yan sa inyo. Ano, huh? And then, of course, if it doesn't help, you have to drink. Probably you need Boston C, Boston C, and megadose vitamin C. So, for papillary carcinoma, again, so you can use guyabano leaves, damong maria, make them a set tea, drink it three to four times a day, Boston C, megadose vitamin C, by and pixie dust. You can also get uh, virgin coconut oil. And then you rub it in your thyroid. It will help. Yeah, it helped a lot of my patient. Now, if you think that this is hokum, that if you are rubbing anything in your skin, it's going to affect your system, think again. Okay? So, because some of the things that we rub in our skin goes directly into our system. That's why they have the nicotine patch. So, That's what they have, right, fentanyl, diba? fentanyl patch. Yeah, they have the fentanyl patch. So, do not be skeptic about you rubbing the virgin coconut oil in your uh, thyroid, in your neck, at the base of your neck because it's really important. Hashimoto's thyroiditis, it's uh, another autoimmune disease, okay, that affects your thyroid. The most important thing there is uh, you can use virgin coconut oil, okay, it's an oil, and then you apply it on your thyroid. So, you can also uh, eat uh, seaweeds. And also megadose vitamin C, uh, Boston C, and the pixie dust. So this may all help you. For a thyroid nodule, if your TSH, T3, and T4 are normal, you can use guyabano leaves. You can also use the mung maria. Okay? So if everything fails, you try Boston C, megadose vitamin C, and the pixie dust. Okay? And of course, you have to change your diet because some of the nodules right now, in our body, it's because of a certain type of food that we are eating. You know, they are, they have uh, GMO. So when you talk about goiter, these are thyroid enlargement. So lumalaki yung thyroid nila. So there's two types, okay? You can have hypothyroid and you can have hyperthyroid. So pag pareho yun, lalaki talaga yung thyroid, yung, yung thyroid gland mo. So you have to identify first if you're hyper your hypo or you, you thyroid. So, pagka na-identify mo siya kung hyperthyroid ka, hypothyroid, at saka you thyroid, it's um, faster or easier from then. So, anyway, if you're hy hypothyroid, so, the, the most um, valuable plant that can help you are seaweeds. So, that's the best for a patient to have uh, hypothyroid. Hyperthyroid, guess what? It's cabbage. Okay? So, sometimes uh, meron ako mga naririnig nagsasabi na, iba doktora, hindi yata maganda kapag kami hyperthyroid ka. Diba sabi nila, bawal daw ang cabbage. Well, actually, um, they block iodine uptake. Kasi you need iodine to form thyroid hormones. So, hindi ka makakagawa ng thyroid hormones kapag wala kang iodine. Okay? So, the the cabbage will block it. So how do you how do you use cabbage for hyperthyroid? So I usually ask my patient to juice it, juicing mo siya, and then you can drink it like four to five times in a day, and then you repeat your laboratory after one one week to two weeks, and then you will see results. Almost always, the if you're hyperthyroid, you own uh, TSH, uh, your T3, T4 will go down, will normalize. So, we're gonna go in hyperthyroid and hypothyroid. So, pagka may hyperthyroid, so all hyper and hypothyroid, and your thyroid, they can cause goiter. Okay? So, hindi, hindi ibig sabihin pag may goiter ka, kasi goiter is just, it's just an enlargement. You know? It doesn't mean that if you have a hypo or hyper or your thyroid, uh, so, goiter, pag nagkakaroon ka, it can be anything. So, pag may hyperthyroid ka, believe it or not, huwag kayong magagalit sa akin, it's cabbage juice. Okay? Because the cabbage, it's, uh, it blocks the iodine. Okay? Goitrogenic din siya. So, 
it blocks the iodine uptake. So, bababa ngayon yung uh, thyroid hormones niya. With the hypothyroid, you need iodine. So, the better the better treatment for here is seaweeds. Ano?